G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. We're looking at the Clyperius Hive, it's just uh, bucketed down with rain but little buggers are coming out after the rainstorm. Now in this episode, I suppose if you want to call it, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be opening up the hive to have a look inside but more importantly I'm going to put a some sheets of clear plastic across this lid inside so to create a viewing platform so we can look at the progress of this hive and what might happen as a result of me lifting this lid off is there's going to be a good chance that there's going to be brood or pots stuck to the top of this lid. Now if that happens what I plan to do is to remove that brood and place it in another box. So you've got to be prepared when you do a first inspection on this that you may have to do a bit of a transfer of brood because you've lifted some out. Now you're not going to see this because I will be doing this first thing in the morning before daybreak. Why before daybreak? Well I can tell you for a fact that just removing the screws off this lid, as you can see they're out, these little buggers may be small but boy they're not shy at attacking you and they were swarming at me for just unscrewing the screws of the lid. So I'll be doing this in before sunrise to minimize that unfortunately you're not going to see it but you will see the end results so i wait till tomorrow morning and then another video okay jobs done still early morning uh, what this is changing to is one of two techniques of propagating a tropical species either the either the queen bump method or the brood bump method and this could be a combination of both after I've had a look inside the hives so I've had a look in both hives and well both hives well there are both hives now and I'll show you what I mean in a minute now this will probably won't come through clearly but when I opened this up there was a plastic sheet already on here and so I don't know if you can see that. I'll go up high first. There's three chambers. One there, one there, one there. If I get a torch, you might see a bit better. You can see that there's some pollen stores just down there in the hive. And there's a little bit of brood just tucked in here. It's old brood, ready to hatch, just about there. I don't know if I put the light there. You can't really see it because of all the gunk on the plastic. The main brood body was in the second chamber here and you can see the spots where it was there about the size of a passion fruit and you can see a lot of nurse bees walking around you know it's quite curious when you see these young bees and they've got an orange bottom on them see it you can see the light colored bottom that's classic Clyperius. anyway there's a bit of brood still left on this side a bit of brood left on this side so i've got three patches of brood one here Oops, one here, one over there, and there's one just over here, just down under there, but you can't see it through there. This chamber is just empty at the moment. And so what did I do? Well, to understand that, let me put the lid on this hive first. Do, 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 do. And I'll just place this phone here. You can, just, you can look at nothing while I just lift the lid off this one. And on, oops, there we go. And there's that hive there with a the plastic sheet. I, you can see again, these orange colored be, bottom bees. And what you can see in the corner here is the brood mass, about the size of a passion fruit. Lots of young bees over it, open cells. I've probably got the queen in there. No guarantees on that. And so what I've done is over this side, I put in a blob of just uh, native's beeswax that's been soaked in honey. 
and in the far corner over here a little bit of pollen stores and this hive has been closed up not allowing them out for at least three days so at the moment everybody's running around there and you can see what I've done I've basically transferred a good the good brood ball from there to there now this is the great thing about tropical species and let me cover that again you can look at nothing while I put the lid on uh, we'll put that down there yeah I bet you that's a nice site for a bloody YouTube video absolutely nothing to look at okay so let's discuss the brood bump and the queen bump method so as you've seen what I've done is looked at this hive haven't disturbed the pollen pots or the honey pots in this hive they're just around the entrance here brood mass about here but I took the main body of the brood and placed it from here into this hive or box here now this is what's called the brood bump method try that again brood bump and this is what you can do with the tropical species that down south don't recognize in this hive here there's no doubt probably a virgin queen running around and hidden in the stores area by taking the brood main body from here to here which you can do quite easily because it's not mixed in with the other stores and that it sits quite separate on its own you can just surgically cut it out and bump the brood from here to a new box What's going to happen in this box? Well, we're going to monitor it for two weeks. If there's a virgin queen, there'll be a mating swarm, and I'll see that. But if there's no virgin queen in here, there's enough brood there that maybe a queen cell will hatch. Now, why don't I worry if there is a queen cell or not? Because we go back to this hive. This has been bumped with the brood. I'll leave it closed for three days to five days to, so that no bees go back to here to the hive and that they orientate to here but I can monitor both hives now this hive should have the queen because I got the main brood mass in it if I see the queen over the next two days come to the surface of the brood if I suck her up I can bump her back into this hive because that big brood bass must have a queen cell somewhere hidden in it so I'll be guarantee a new queen to come so I could do the queen bump method of returning the queen alone from this hive back to this hive if it doesn't have a queen but I can just wait and this is the beauty of this method I've started two new hives up I can monitor both hives if this hive has a queen I'll start seeing brood in two weeks new brood being laid down and it's away if it doesn't have a queen and I see a mating swarm I'm also set not a problem in the world if after two weeks I don't see anything that's fine it's still full of nice bees and I can go back to here and re-bump the brood again because by then the brood in here has grown so what you're doing with the brood bump method is you constantly bump the brood between hives until you get both hives established queen bump method is where you just move the queen from one hive to another and I could still be doing that depending what happens in this hive I think that's pretty clear so summarize I've moved the brood from here to here I'm going to hope this has a virgin queen or re-queens but if it doesn't I will then be able to go into this hive and either find the queen and bump her back across or take the brood again move it across and leave some brood behind and eventually I'll get both hives taking so there you go nice little project for the Clyperius